Hello ladies and gentlemen, we have some new uh, stuff to test and to show off uh, something very interesting, uh, it's coming from TBS as usual. Uh, we have firstly a uh, network CI, it's uh, not a tuner, it's a network uh, CI, it's only CI uh, adapter, meaning uh, PCI Express a card which allows you to plug in uh, CI modules something like uh, this ones yeah as you can see here uh, there are no tuners on this card because this actually is uh, our new system uh, our new um, product uh, basically you just um, plug as you can see the DVB cam yeah inside the oh sorry you can plug the cam inside the, um, the card, yeah, there is no tuner, you can plug uh, the tuner inside the, um, uh, how it's called, the server, the server machine, and then with the software which is uh, uh, developed by the TBS uh, team, yeah, with the software we are able to uh, use this uh, amazing cam to scramble uh, remotely on the network. Actually, in the simple words, it's very simple. Uh, I mean, it's very easy to explain. This is a network descrambling resource, network descrambling CI. So this, there are no tuners. You can see pretty obviously that there is no tuner. Yeah? So you just plug your operator uh, cam inside this uh, amazing uh, product. Yeah. And uh, you put it on the network and with some uh, software, which I will show you in the next uh, step yeah so with some software you will be able to um, get the stream scrambled with your operator thank you very much uh, i'll see you in the second part of the movie back um, we have plugged the um, tbs 6900 cam uh, remotely yeah into a remote machine um, so it's plugged, the uh, driver is automatically uh, installing. If you have already compiled the drivers, the CAM module, it's going to be automatically recognized and assigned properly. So for the second part of the test, uh, we're going to use uh, some DVB-LAS to generate some uh, scrambled signal. Yeah. So the um, uh, DVB-LAST uh, will, will be DVB-LAST minus F, uh, some uh, cable frequency with some symbol rate, the QIM and uh, of course the DVB-C network. We will uh, dump, uh, in, uh, read the config and dump some stream yeah, in the network. First, we start, yeah, it's already started. Um, we're gonna go to the web UI because there is a web UI which will allow you to set up and uh, configure uh, the cam to make it work uh, uh, with uh, cam modules. Yeah, I have inserted, there is inside a, uh, an Irdeto 2 uh, cam uh, CI+. Plus. Yeah, uh, we'll pick up the stream. Yeah, the stream source is going to be UDP 127001 with port 3001. Uh, we're going to uh, enable it. Yeah, so we're going to apply it. Yeah, we select enable and apply, of course. It says success, so we're going to go to the second step, Remux. Already it's here, it's Remuxed, so... Uh, when you scan it and uh, prepare it firstly, it will show up like this. You're going to need to add it. Yeah, it's assigned to cam zero because on the CI cam, on the network cam, there are uh, cam zero and cam one. You can use two uh, CI uh, conditional access modules. We're going to press apply. Yeah, we're going to wait for the message. If it says, OK, success. Yeah, it says, OK, success. Now we're going to go to the network. On the network side, uh, we're going to stream to my machine, to this Windows machine, which are, we are using also to record. Yeah, it selected the cam uh, zero. We're going to set apply on the cam zero. Yeah, it says also success. Uh, when you select apply, it will allow you to 
uh, stream out to different um, protocols, HTTP or um, UDP or RTP. Yeah, I selected UDP yeah, directly to my uh, local machine. Okay, and uh, everything is set, it should work. Let's try, um, okay, with the same link in the VLC. So it's UDP uh, 192.168.121.2. Uh, uh, port 6001. Because it's on the network, it's gonna be a little bit of delay because it's network uh, CI, so it's network uh, CAM module. So it's gonna take like a couple of seconds, maybe up to one minute until the uh, cam it's gonna be picked up yeah let's see again if it's properly because it's doing some buffering on the background or something like this okay, let's see if it's uh, possible to play the network ci stream yeah. it's open like almost instantly, as you can see the stream is open and it's uh, it's scrambling remotely and uh, of course it's uh, Scrambled remotely and it's um, working quite nicely. Let's see some uh, tools, some uh, media information, statistics for nerds, of course. Okay, yeah. We don't have any drops or any anything else or interruption, as you can see here. So basically, this is it, plain and simple. Of course, you can uh, add uh, multiple sources, yeah, from multiple channels. If you are using uh, professional cams with yeah, MTD, no multi-TS decrypt, yeah, um, it's very easy. You can select multiple channels from multiple sources and scramble with the same cam, as long as the cam is professional and it's able to scramble uh, multiple uh, uh, streams on the same uh, well. cam or on the same car. That's it. Uh, thank you very much. Um, we're gonna record uh, a few more, more movies with different setups. We have in plan to make the same system also to work with the uh, Astra Sespo uh, um, streaming. Make it, if possible, uh, running in uh, Astra Sesbo, the system, this uh, network uh, CAM, uh, network conditional access module, the scrambling system, or with TV head end, or even uh, with our uh, Kylon uh, system. Thank you very much. Um, have a nice day. Bye-bye.